February 1st, 2003. Space Shuttle Columbia began its final re-entry phase. 15 days earlier, a piece of insulating foam had fallen from the orbiter's external tank. The debris punched a hole into one of Columbia's ceramic tiles, which make up the shuttle's heat shield. The warnings ignored by NASA and the Bush administration had cost them dearly. Exposed, the heat managed to breach the internal structure of the wing, shedding more and more protective tiles, until finally, the entire shuttle was torn to pieces. The crew, Rick Husband, William McCool, David Brown, Cal Panachola, Michael Anderson, Laura Clark, and Ilan Remen of the Israel Air Force, all dead. Changing NASA's culture and getting managers to listen to safety concerns of subordinates was a major recommendation by the board that investigated the Columbia accident. That culture, the board said, contributed to the accident. Howard McCurdy is an historian who has studied the internal workings of the U.S. Space Agency. NASA's difficulty in communication was not that people weren't speaking up. They were. People issued warnings before the Challenger accident. They issued warnings during the flight of Columbia. The difficulty was on the other end, that people in the mission management teams weren't listening. Or more appropriately, they weren't interpreting what they were hearing in the correct way. Investigators make a disturbing discovery. NASA's engineers were worried about the foam strike's effects. They asked managers to commission satellite photographs of Columbia's wing while in orbit to check for damage. But NASA's management turned them down. The question of a picture was brought up to management and the management actively suppressed requests for pictures. They actually went on the aggressive to stamp out any thought of pictures. NASA should have known better. The endangerment to Columbia's tiles existed long before she even flew the shuttle program's maiden flight. Oh, the tiles? Tiles are in good shape. We're not going to have to repair tiles. They're fixed. How serious is the tile problem? Well, if you don't have any tiles on the bottom, the vehicle's going to burn up. If you have a lot of tiles on the bottom, the vehicle won't burn up. You can lose a tile in a certain area, a single tile, and I don't think it'll do anything to you. My personal opinion is, I've heard people say there's going to be a zipper effect. Well, there really isn't a zipper effect. Each one of those tiles is put on individually, and they're designed four to five times the strength that they need for the dynamic pressure they're going to see. You can lose a tile in a certain area, a single tile, and I don't think it'll do anything to you. It was later established that only one damaged tile destroyed the Columbia. Unfortunately, NASA has been saddled with a bad design. The shuttle was put together in the 1970s, and fundamentally, it's a poor design. And they have to live with that for the next five years until they can retire the shuttle. 